right, today is the day, folks. We just had a little bit of a downpour, so it's a little wet. But that's summer in Florida. And it's also, well, it's monitor breeding season. It's time for Slinky to meet his girlfriend. They've been coexisting uh, kind of within eyesight. But now it's time to do the introduction, and you guys are coming along with me. I'm trying to find the camera there. Tom was wiggling as he's trying to move here. Hey, what's up? So uh, that's what's gonna happen uh, on today's episode. Let's get to it. This is Camp Ken. All right, so here's the deal. Normally, the Timor pythons are living in here, but for the last few days, I put, you know what? I don't even have a name for her. I like Pinky. Someone suggested Pinky. I'm, I think we're going to go with Pinky and Slinky. Uh, so I'm going to go grab Pinky. Um, now she and Slinky have seen each other before, and Slinky's always interested. But the thing with Pinky is now she's, you know, since she used to live indoors all the time. Sometimes when you introduce a monitor lizard to a new habitat, they kind of they get insecure. They revert, especially when they're back outside. So. Uh, what I'm gonna have Tom, as you know, Tom's thrilled that we're doing this video I love today. Him. I yeah, love him. he loves lizards, uh, especially large carnivorous ones. <laughs> but um, what I need to have happen, Tom, is let's just shut this. You're gonna stay in there, but Tom, yeah, you're gonna be it. locked in with us. I hear you. All right, you okay? I can, I can handle it. Yeah, he can do this because uh, we don't want to lose Pinky. So I now I have to go grab her, and she has been a little less than excited about being picked up. So let me see if I can find the young lady. I see her. I see her through the foliage. And, of course, this is an animal that's cornered, so that's no bueno either. Um, so I need to make sure I can grab her behind the head here, which she's going to let me do. I got her. But you can see, guys, look at this. I mean, this is clearly, she's definitely um, not happy about being picked up at the moment. So what I like to do with that, guys, is just be as calm as I can be. Right now, this is going to be the introduction, okay? So, we're gonna have to keep an eye on it. Um, I have one question. Yeah, go ahead. Actually, two questions. Yeah, go. What do you? First off, you? Slink is right there. That's right. So, I mean, are you? Is that okay? I mean, are, what's your fear right now? What's well, your my biggest fear, fear going in? The right biggest now? fear, whenever you're introducing two uh, lizards, monitor lizards together, is the male um, will become territorial or too rough on the female. Um, I am ready to break these guys up if something were to happen um, like I said they've there has been no signs of outward aggression as as they're through here if anything what I would love to have happen is her be more aggressive than slinky um, and you know what we did with Jackie a few like last year um, Jackie was definitely more aggressive um, and he wasn't an aggressive lizard now there are some males that are just aggressive uh, and I don't think that's the case with slinks, no. but the worst case scenario is that he's not going to like her and he's going to want to just kill an interloper in his environment. Uh, but I'm on hand and we'll be able to break that up. And what I like is he's moved away from the door. He now. did. Let's so get we, moving. Then we can actually get in. Yeah. Cleanly. Well, why don't you, you're going to, I need to get in, right? Bro? No. Do you? No. Is that a bad idea? I don't know if it's a bad idea, Tom, but I mean, <laughs> can you do it? Open to both latches. You got to go all the way down below too. It's the first time for Yeah, everything. You're not going to be able to kick it that way. You got to reach down. Okay. okay. Yeah. You got to reach down and get it. There you go. Oh, yeah. Just slide that to the side, Mike. Perfect. Now that. the top one and get moving. Fort Knox in this place. Yeah. Well, you know, large lizard need large thing and I'll also mention that um, Jackie is calm I'm mean, excuse me P uh, pinky is calmed down what's up slink you know I feel better because I have long pants on and boots okay so I'm not feeling as vulnerable as well I, I need to shut this door want me to do it uh, yeah can you do it yeah. because I want to have hands on her I don't want to just let her go and have her run into the water without Slink's actually seeing it. good job all right we've all done it um, so okay guys slinky doesn't know now that I have her in my hand. So what I'm gonna do is let her down, see how they interact with each other. Right now she hasn't freaked out. Um, she stopped trying to bite me. She's very calm, which is nice. But again, there is a size difference, but this is a mature female who has laid eggs before. Uh, so it's an adult female. Slinky's a big boy. Let's let's get to it, all right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna just let her down. And there, there will be some running around and some interest. Let's go. And if I have to, I'll stop Slinks. But she's so beautiful. Slinks is just starting to look. 
it's always a little nerve-wracking guys when you're adding two lizards together okay um, here's slinky here we go see his tongue flicking he's picking up the scent of another lizard so now he knows she's not on the other side of the actual do you know if she's ever been with another lizard uh, she has she has bred before she was with Kyle's big lizard but I don't like the I, I'm a little nervous about the posturing see how Slinky's posture is so yeah. he's, he's rising up mm -hmm. and he's just showing how big he is she's mm -hmm. not uh, interacting at all now if I start to see bobbing of the head I'll feel a little bit better because that's what monitors will do to visually say hey it's you know what's going on here you know Let's why see. is my man always coming to me well because he knows just you just stand still he does really? not with that posture he's okay he's okay you, you're not what he's looking at all right all right you're fine you're still fine Tom see he's not interested in you he's interested in the lizard the female here see this this is still just curiosity but he's a little nervous because it is someone new he hasn't really ran towards her so that gives me that makes me feel good This is good, guys. It's like a cool, nervous dad moment right here. Yeah, you see his tail's moving a little bit, so he's just trying to figure out what she is. Okay. See, so I'm that, moving. That was, he's twitching. No, that was me. I think I touched his tail. No, that was me. I moved. Oh, you touched his tail. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, be careful with that. So this is still good. She's just doing the whole frozen thing. Man, it's so nerve-wracking, guys. But this, you know, in the wild, what would happen is these animals... They each have their own little territories, but they'll come together, they'll come across each other. That's full on t tongue flicking here. Hopefully she's got pheromones that let him know that she's a female. I don't know if he's got to smell her cloaca. Um, even just the raindrops. Are Is he nervous because I got down here with them? No, or? the rain just, a little raindrop just kind of oh, went okay. right on him. I'm going to move up here, see. He's very skittish though, Yes, huh? which, which I like. I like that he's more skittish than she is. She's definitely nervous. Um, She's just doing the whole, you know, be quiet thing, but here he is. And if I got to jump in, guys, I'm ready to jump in. This is just the nature of introducing these animals together, okay? So I know everyone in watching is probably real nervous, but let's hope Slinky remains a gentleman. Right now, no big deal. Just getting a little sensing. Hasn't seen anyone since Jackie. But look at how scared he is. I love it. <laughs> you should be scared of her. Big baby. Yeah, man. She's she's pretty tough. But I like the name Pinky for her. She's not pink at all, but it just rhymes. Pinky and Slinky. Let's hope they get along well. In the wild, I mean in Thailand, places in Southeast Asia, there's a large, there'll be large population densities of these animals. Uh, you can even find them in semi-urban areas. Uh, there's a park in Bangkok uh, that has a large population of water monitor in it. Um, normally they come together just for breeding. All other times of the year, uh, it's pretty much just every lizard for itself. Uh, they'll prey on their own young, uh, and they, they fight over those resources, you know, over the food resources and whatnot. But look at this, he's more interested in you, of course. That's always good, Tom. Mm -hmm. By the way, it's good to have you back, Tom. It's been a couple months since you've been down in Florida. It's nice when you show up and I don't have to hold the camera. Um, and he, right now, guys, Tom, his cloaca is so tight right now. Tom's cloaca. How'd you know? Oh, dude, I just dude, see your posture. You have no idea. Slinky would not hurt you, buddy. I can trust that lizard, man. I do trust Slinks. But, you know, you can see how dusty he is. He's been digging a lot. Uh, he's a different coloration than this gal. I'm going to go ahead and try and touch her and see how she's feeling. She's letting me touch her, which is good. But you saw when I picked Here her up, she comes. had a little open mouth. Here we go. Hey, Slinky, be nice. Be nice to this girl. Let's see. Dude. It's okay. He's just, you're new. You haven't been here in a while. He just, there's a lot going on. You know, there's new people in his enclosure and a new lizard. So he's just checking it all out. 
Come on, buddy. <laughs> Be a good boy. But I like that he's um, that he reacts in more of a curious and nervous uh, demeanor rather than something's in my environment. I must kill it. He's curious. Um, monitors, as you guys know, they're intelligent lizards. So he knows, like, hey, wait, what's going on here? Like, this is different. I don't want to just run out and kill it. I may like this company for a little while. Um, and to be perfectly honest, this is very consistent with how he behaved when I put Jackie in. Um, he was nervous at first. Then he figured out it was a female. And that's when you started to see uh, the raptor-like head bobbing. Uh, raptor in the way of Jurassic Park raptors. And they got on pretty good, didn't they? Like They, were they did good. Like um, there was there was about three weeks where it was all love and you know bouquets of flower and lollipops and unicorns. And then uh, what happened was Slinky realized, all right, breeding's over. And Jackie did get that. Uh, cut on her back, but that's when I returned her. Uh, she was fine from the uh, cut, but I returned her to my buddy Anthony. Um, but the problem, Jackie passed away because she became uh, egg bound. Um, mm -hmm. She she did lay eggs, and there are offspring. Uh, she did have offspring, so that's some cool news. From Slinky? Uh, I don't believe they were from Slinky. I'm pretty sure it was a little a few months later uh, when Anthony got his own mail. Um, yeah, look at this. He's a big baby. You big baby. Now, I want to at least stick around, guys, because we want to see, once she starts moving, um, what, in fact, will happen with Slinky. Will he? Will it kind of trigger a reaction where he wants to go grab her? But look at her posturing, okay? You see Slinky's curious? You see how she is? I'm just going to stay still. She's flattened herself out. She's showing, uh, you know, trying to make herself kind of blend in, if, if you will. So here we go. It's a bizarre love triangle right here. Yeah, well, I don't think there's any <laughs> love between you and the lizards, but maybe the Not triangle you. going my yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is weird. <laughs> Definitely a triangle here. Uh, so far, so good. But I really want to see her start to move around the enclosure, and that's how we'll know. Um, and it was funny, um, you know, he had averted his hemipenes, um, so that shows me, um, you know, not now, but a, a few days ago when she was over here, shows me maybe interested in breeding. Lizards actually have um, two penises, or a hemipene, and it's divided. So I guess basically what that means is they can copulate from either side, it just it's a nice way nature gave them to be able to breed, and make it easier since, uh, well, you know, they don't have opposable thumbs and stuff. Snakes also have a hemipene. I won't make a bad joke about that. Man. Nah, man, I just we're it. science right we're now. Clean. We stay we're clean. keeping it clean yeah, here, yeah. buddy. Um, but look at him, he's more interested in me. I was at the gym and I changed, I didn't uh, clean up, so I'm stinky slinky, <laughs> but I love him. He's such a cool lizard just gave me that one one fork went right up my nostril but you see this guys do you see how the lizard behaves very curious the tongue flicking for those of you who don't know much about uh, monitor lizards the tongue flicking is just a way for him to get another read off of his environment um, he can detect all kinds of chemical cues so he really flicks it out because hey he's at a heightened sense of awareness right now can he detect my fear uh, it's possible. <laughs> Should I move my foot? Am I blocking? Is uh, no, he can move around just fine. I don't want you to make too many sudden movements because that's one of the ways, guys, when you see an animal is in this kind of state, you noticed earlier on, uh, we'd move, he'd twitch. This is actually when you're most, most likely to be injured by a tame lizard, okay? He's nervous. He's got something new going on, and he's not quite sure of it. So he's a little twitchy. And if she moved, I think he would back away from her. Probably whip his tail around too. Yeah, and you're right in the middle of it. Yeah, can't but wait. she is being extremely tolerant. Do you see? I, I raised my voice. Sorry, Slinky. I raised my voice. Um, but gosh, no movement out of Pinky here. That's funny. He's just testing the. It's like each time he goes a little bit closer, right? right? He's just every right. time. He's like, okay. Well, it could also be the fact that he hasn't seen a gal in over oh, a year. So he's like, is this, is this, it's like he's been living on a desert island, you know? Um, is this an apparition? Is this beauty just in a figment of my imagination? 
I know when I don't see Kate for a long time, I really start to like, you know, go crazy. And when I see her again, I can't believe she's actually real. I really have this girlfriend. I really have this girlfriend. I'm just kidding, Kate. I love you. I'm just making a joke. I'm never apart from Kate long enough to, to be, to, for it to be detrimental. Here we go. Oh, God. I am so nervous right now. Yeah, me too. You're nervous for other reasons. <laughs> now here, let's see if he can sniff the cloaca. This is where he should get some kind of cue as to whether or not she's a male or a female. Wow. Look at this. She is really tolerant. I'm trying to be really still here. Yeah. This is scary because I, don't, I would have to think it wouldn't take much for him to just, if he were aggressive, to just grab her by the neck and give a shake and really do some damage to her. Mm. Yeah, she's super vulnerable. Huh? Yeah, but she's allowing herself to be vulnerable, which might just be... Submission that's just showing? I think so. You know, I'm not 100% sure. I think, you know, the fact that there are two large mammals towering over her and... Yeah. All right, here we go. Look at this. Some head nudging. That's still not scary behavior that's gentle behavior so it's so interesting guys oh, easy slinky good but you see she allows him to push her head down he's she she keeps her head down um, she's not trying to run away. This is a female that has been bred before. And so she knows. Uh, she's experienced this kind of... Yeah, it's funny. Cause I don't know how it feels to everyone at home, but it just feels very dramatic to me right now. It's, it's very cool. It's very nerve-wracking for me. Look at this. Now we're getting near. He's able to maybe... Wow. See that, guys? He's just double-checking. He's making sure everything's good. Checking the parts out? I think so. That That's a reptilian way of, you know just figuring it out here. This is so interesting. What's going on? He really is interested in the cloaca here. Well, he's got a good sense of it now. Yeah, I think so. Still nervous. And that's the other thing, guys. Remember, even in the animal world, you want, you know, not every male and female is compatible, if you think about it. Um, so it's good that that this is happening uh, because you can put a male and a female of any type of reptile whether it's a turtle a crocodilian a lizard a snake and for whatever reason they know whether or not they're compatible or not you know there's just an instinct and even we possess it I be believe that there are cues that even human beings have that pheromones chemical cues uh, when you just know you ever hear a love at first sight same thing in lizard love. By the way, nice uh, cave you've got for Slinky over there. I well, wasn't here when I was here last time. No, that, that cave he excavated himself. He's always looking really? for a way out. He, yeah, did he, he did that. He's incredibly... Um, How far does it go? Does it go under the it, ponds? No, it, it only goes... <clears throat> it doesn't go further than that beam, than that piling. You're talking about caves, and I'm nervous wreck here. <laughs> okay? It's a hole. It's a hole that he dug. Okay? <laughs> Good grief. I'm a nervous wreck. I'm, I'm trying to see what he's going to do here with this female. This is incredible, though. It's so funny. Uh, in my previous life as a sports broadcaster, I'd have to do and give commentary for different action sports events, Olympic events. <laughs> this is probably the best commentary I've ever, I've ever given. <laughs> A play-by-play -play on how this is golf. You, you're like a golf announcer. Okay, you can see Slinky's now lost interest in the female. And what he's doing is figuring out why am I squatting watching his every move. I think he wants me to leave. I can't do that, Slinky. But So what's the end result here? You take her back out again. You can't leave her, right? Wow. This is just the first thing? Or, or this do you is, leave her? I think I want to allow her... Um, to walk about the enclosure. We want to get them used to each other. So I'm going to stick around for a while. So it might be an opportunity for you to make a cut and we could pick up when she's moving again. 
I don't know. You're the producer. Sounds but good. Let's do it. Head move. This is all good. This is very good. This is gentle um, courting behavior. Now what I would do is if I did see an actual copulation uh, with intromission um, to where he, you know, he entered the female and they were done, I would then pull her out and maybe again in a day, two days, reintroduce them, see if they can do it again. Um, it's pretty cool though. So Slinky's been amazing absolutely amazing and i have to give pinky uh props too she's been amazing because even jackie was just not interested in meeting slinky um he really had to subdue her this lizard here like i said is just extremely tolerant and i'm not seeing heavy breathing from her she's not ter it doesn't appear that she's extremely um stressed at the moment so that's good too. You know, if she were running away and he's chasing her down, that's a little different. So I'd have to say, guys, that the uh, the first introduction between Slinky and Pinky is good. Pinky, are you gonna you gonna do what my friend's dog does to my leg? Are you? I don't know if I like that. I think he's gonna use me as a ladder. I think that's all the introduction we're gonna get, huh? What do you think, buddy? I love Slinky. All right, guys, so we're going to wrap this up. Of course, we'll uh, add a bonus video if things go down. I'll be uh, there with my trusty iPhone camera. Uh, but in the meantime, if you like videos like this and love learning about these animals, uh, please continue to support us on Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash Camp Cannon for some more bonus materials and other videos. And you can also meet some of the different animals that I have here at the camp. Don't forget to grab a t-shirt, go to campcannon.com slash store, and uh, subscribe. We'll talk to you guys later. We'll leave these two lovebirds to get more acquainted.